Hello there, children. It's Farmer Chambers here. I'm here to read you a story today. I don't know where Miss Chambers has gone, but she's asked me to come and read you a story. So I've come. I'm a little bit dirty because I've got... Can you see? I've got mud all over my face because I have been in the farmyard. I've been mucking out the pigs. I've been feeding the cows. I've been chasing the chickens. I've been riding the horses. I've been getting milk ready to take back to the farmhouse. Lots of different jobs today. Even some of the animals have come to listen to our story today. Can you see them behind me? I don't know why we have a monkey, but we seem to have one on our farm. We've got a fox and we've got a rabbit. So I'm going to read you a story all about a farm today. Are you ready to listen? Good. OK, here goes. So we've got... Miss Chambers' voice is going to come back on to read the story. We've got... What the ladybird heard. Ooh, what can we see? Remember, children, when we're looking at a story, we need to look at the front cover and make predictions about what we can see. What can we see on the front cover of this story? Tell somebody in your family what you can see. I can see a cat. I can see a cow. I can see a pig, I can see a horse, all different animals that live on the farm. And that is why Miss Chambers is dressed up as Farmer Chambers. Farmer Chambers lives on this farm with all these animals and he's going to tell you a story about something that happened on this farm. Are you ready to listen? Good, good. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen. A woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog. A cat that meowed, and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow, and a ladybird. Ooh. I can, oh, yes, I can. I'm looking down at this picture here. Can you see the very tiny ladybird? The ladybird is on the leaf of the bush. Ooh, a ladybird in a farm with all those animals. And the cow said, moo. And the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. Quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Baa, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. One cat meowed and the other one purred. But the ladybird said never a word. You see here? The ladybird said never a word. The ladybird was not talking. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is how we're going to steal the fine prize. Oh, those two naughty men are going to come into the farm. And what are they going to steal? They're going to steal the fine prize cow. Goodness me, what naughty men they are. Ooh. This was their plan. Have a good look at their plan. You can pause the video if you want to and have a chat with the person in your house about what you think their plan is going to be. How do you think that they are going to steal the fine prize cow? Have a good look. Pause it if you need to. Okay, let's 
Let's read. Open the gate at the dead of night. Pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead. And in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Was that the plan that you told your family? Yeah. And the little spotted ladybird that never before had said a word told the animals this is how he's going to ste steal the cow. They'll open the gate in the dead of night, past the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond, past the hog, be careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Can we see our ladybird here? The ladybird is, where is the ladybird? Can you tell me where the ladybird is? The ladybird is on top of the cow's nose. The ladybird is on top of the cow's nose. So all the animals are listening to the teeny tiny ladybird and he, she has heard the horrible robber's plan and she knows exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to steal the fine prize cow. And the cow said, Moo! And the hen said, Cluck! And hiss said the goose, and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse, oink said the hog, ba said the sheep, woof said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow! Okay, I'm going to read that page again, but this time you're going to say the animal noises. Are you ready? Say them really loud with me. And the cow said, Moo! And the hen said, Cluck, 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 cluck. What did the goose say? Hiss, said the goose. And what did the duck say? Quack, quack, said the duck. What did the horse say? Nay, said the horse. And what did the pig say? <laughs> said the hog. And what did the sheep say? Say out at me. Ah, said the sheep. And what did the dog say? Woof, woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered into each animal's ear. Can you see? I'm going to hold this right up. This is the path of the ladybird. She's going to the horse's ear and to the cow's ear, to the pig's, can you see that there? To the pig's ear, to the sheep's ear, to the goose's ear, to the do dog's ear, to the duck's ear to the, and to the cat's ears. She's whispering in their ear a plan to stop the robbers. What do you think the plan will be, Red Base? Can you whisper to somebody in your house what you think the plan will be? Say it quietly so the robbers don't At the dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, Nay, with all her might. And Len said, That's the horse, turn right. Hold on. Do goose say nay? What do goose say? That's right, they say hiss. The goose was pretending to be the horse. The robbers thought it was the wrong way, so they went a different way. How clever. The dainty dog 
began to quack. The duck said, Hugh, we're right on track. Does a dog say quack? What does a dog say? That's right, the duck dog was pretending to be a duck. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Oh no, the cats are pretending to be the pig. How clever. Ba 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 said the big fat hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Do the sh do do hens say ba? What was the hen pretending to be? He was pretending to be a sheep, that's right. Then the duck on the pond said, Moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. Does a duck say moo? What does a duck say? That's right. So the duck was pretending to be a cow. Ooh, I think the robbers are going to be very excited. They think that they're nearly there. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splush! Oh no! Look what's happened to the robbers. Let's go back a page. Ba, 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 said the big fat head. Hen, the sheep were nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, Moo, 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 two more steps to go, said Hugh. Oh, I see what's happening. They're walking towards the duck pond. Their duck is saying moo. They think that's where their cow is. They're walking towards the duck pond and... Can you make that sound with me? Splush, loud as you can. Splush. They both fell into the duck pond. Ha, 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 silly robbers. They shouldn't be trying to steal the fine prize cow, should they? And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they came, Nina. And they threw the thieves in their panda car. What did the farmer do? Look, here he is. He's very cross. He now knows that the silly robbers were going to steal the fine prize cow. So what did he do? He rang the police. That's right, he rang the police. And when the policeman came, they came in a car. And what did the car say? Let's do it together. Nino, 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 Nino. Fantastic. They put the thieves in the panda car. Oh, back to the animals. The animals were feeling very happy. Then the cow said, join in with me. Then the cow said, moo. And the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. I think this ladybird's very clever. The ladybird sits. He, she doesn't say a single thing. She sits and she watches, and she listens, but she doesn't say anything. But because of that, she managed to save the fine prize cow. Can you tell somebody in your family now, how did the ladybird save the fine prize cow? What did she do? I'll give you a clue. She whispered into the animal's ears. What did she whisper? into the animal's ears. Can you remember what she whispered? Tell the person in your family what did she whisper and how did she save the day? But still, at the end of the story, she never said a word. Let's do that page again. I want to hear your animal noises really loud. I'm in my house, so I can't hear you very well. You're gonna have to shout them really loud. Are we ready? Then the cow said, 
moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep, woof, said the dog. The farmer cheered, and both cats purred. I hope you enjoyed that story, Red Base, and I hope you enjoyed Miss Chambers being dressed up as Farmer Chambers. I wonder what story we will have next week. Remember, if you have any requests for any of the teachers to read, please do send them in on Google Classroom and we will try our best to film them for you, okay? Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to listen to the story again, you can, and I will see you very soon.